Praise the Lord, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to my channel, Spiritual Catholic Prayer. Please subscribe now and remember to click the notification bell next to subscribe button to be notified each time I upload a new prayer video. Today I am going to present a Catholic Gospel reading and reflections. Tuesday, 4th week of Lent, 12th March 2024. Healings. A reading from the book of John, chapter 5, verses 1 to 16. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is Jerusalem, there is in Jerusalem at the ship gate a pool called in Hebrew Bethesda, with five porticos. In these lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for eight. 38 years. A man, when Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. While I am on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise. Take up your mat and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath and it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, who is the man who told you, take it up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away, since there was a crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin any more, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore, the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on a Sabbath. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks to be God. Reflection Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in what we have heard in our scriptures reading today, we all are reminded of God's ever-present love, compassion and mercy towards each and every one of us. God has called us all to holiness and to leave behind our many wickedness and sins so that we may be reconciled with Him. Just as He has always been so generous in loving us and extending His mercy and compassion towards us. What matters it therefore for us to embrace God's love and mercy which he has extended to us through his Son, our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. God has given us all his Son as a clear sign and perfect example of his love for us and through this perfect love he has manifested for us. He has gathered us all to himself. In the Gospel of John, we can easily notice that the evangelist tries to present Jesus as the Messiah but the Jews, that is, the religious leaders opposed him. The healing of the ill man at Bethsaida in the Gospel reading above is another sign of his being the Messiah. Jesus, as a compassionate healer, noticed that the man who was sick for 38 years and told him to take up his mat and walk. However, it was done on a Sabbath day and that gave the Jews a reason to persecute Jesus. Here is Jesus exercising his role as, a, as the Messiah and here are the Jews opposing and persecuting him continuously up to Calvary. The power of established religion is in full display. To, to the religious leaders, obeying their regulations is more important than compassion. Look at a man who was sick for 38 years and no one, not a single one of the religious leaders lifted a finger to help him. And then when the Lord healed him, he is persecuted instead of appreciated. Do not sin anymore. Jesus tells the man whom he healed. 
most probably the man has some attitudinal problems that ton of people how come that for some long years he had no friend or relative to help him moreover he was ungrateful to jesus and instead reported his identity as his healer to the jews he was also repent unrepentant so why jesus did jesus heal him this is called undeserved grace all of us are sinners and we don't deserve our blessings yet god is gracious to show us slow to anger and rich in kindness sam chapter 145 verses 8 in this season of and time of lent we should be more attuned with ourselves and with god in this world where we often face a lot of temptation distractions and challenges we should always keep in mind that god's love for us and his presence in our midst can help and strengthen us to face all those difficulties and challenges which we cannot resolve on our own alone this is why we must keep our focus attention and emphasis on following the lord in centering ourselves on him we should continue to be good role models and inspirations for our fellow brothers and sisters to everyone whom we encounter each and every moments of our lives it is by our faithful lenten actions and observance that we can be better disciples and followers of christ may the lord continue to guide and bless us in this journey of faith through life and may he empower each and every one of us so that hopefully through our dedicated and faithful lenten observances by deepening ourselves in a life of prayer in our fasting and abstinence to control our worldly desires and all the temptations in life and by our ever more generous arms giving may all of us continue to draw ever closer to god and to his truth May he bless our every good efforts works and endeavors and strengthen us in all things now and forevermore amen thank you dear brothers and sisters god bless you all